Yo, what's up YouTube, Ronix with it and actual and in this tutorial I'll show you how to remove blemishes the best way and the advantages and disadvantages of different tools that we use to remove blemishes or to remove acne or these pimples from skin in just Photoshop. So stick around because in this tutorial I'm going to be showing you everything you want to know about blemish removal and how to best remove blemishes from all your images in Photoshop. So let's kick in and start learning about how to remove blemishes so basically when you're removing blemishes you have to make sure to do it on a brand new layer yeah let me just repeat that when you're removing blemishes you have to make sure to do the blemish removal on a brand new layer because you don't want to mess up with the background layer or any layer you're working on so always make sure you have a backup for your blemish removal and in this case i'm going to simply come down here and create a new layer so if at all you have created a new blank layer you always have to make sure to sample information from the background layer. But remember this this layer is going to be a blank layer so i'm just going to name that blemishes for purposes of being a uh, uniform so this blemishes layer is going to be an empty layer remember it has no information in it meaning you have to copy information from the background layer let me show you guys what I'm trying to mean by this step. So the very first tool we are going to be learning about is the spot healing brush tool. I know so many people love this tool. And it is really amazing. I'm not saying it is bad, but I'm going to, I'm going to show you the disadvantages of uh, the spot healing brush tool. So first of all, when we come to uh, right click and get the spot healing brush tool. So when we come to this amazing tool, how this works you have to make sure that if at all you have a new yeah a blank new layer created you have to make sure that you sample all layers so what this does it is going to pick information from the background and remember we have to get information that we have to be working on and since this layer is really empty and it has no information in it we have to sample all layers because we want to get information and be pasting it on the blemishes layer so how this works you have to make sure it is a the no the mode is normal and the type is content aware so how it works you have to use the box brackets to either increase on the size or reduce on the size of the spot healing brush tool so in order for it to be effective enough you have to uh, use the box brackets in order to get it slightly bigger than the blemish you want to remove don't make it overly big because when you do this it is not going to be getting you the results you need and it's going to be really unnatural so always make sure to make it just slightly bigger than the blemish you want to remove so i think this is fine and how it works simply left click over the blemish uh, to get rid of it and you can see it really does a pretty nice job to remove uh, those blemishes I hope you can see that but as it is doing that you're going to notice that in some areas I want to show you this particular area in some areas you can see it has created some other shape or difference in the luminosity colors around this area of the skin so I'm just going to hit command Z and show you guys on a very bigger area so if at all I want to remove this and I simply click right here. You can see it has created some other reddish color alongside the yellow color right on this area. So let's see a before and after. You can see it has introduced some other color right there. So I would recommend this at all. I'm just going to hit, I'm going to go to the history panel and I'm just going to undo this. So I would recommend that if at all you're using the spot healing brush tool, you have to really be careful with this tool in some areas. So if at all you don't have enough time, you can use uh, this tool for the tiniest blemishes because there we can't be able to notice uh, its imperfections. And when it comes to the bigger blemishes, you have to utilize other tools for removing those blemishes or acne from your images. So this was a sample from uh, the blank new layer. And if at all you have a new field layer, I'm just going to turn this off and uh, simply 
duplicate the background layer by hitting Ctrl or Command J. And we can still name this uh, blemishes. So if at all you have a new field layer and it has information, you can either leave this unchecked because you already have information right in this layer. And you can simply come and click over the blemish to uh, get rid of it and clean up the skin using this very tool. So I always recommend you guys to always incorporate the three uh, tools that I'm about to show you guys uh, to remove blemishes. Actually, there are four tools to remove the blemishes. So for this case, you can see we have a new field layer. So the other tool I want to show you guys and how it works, you have to simply come and right click. It is called the healing brush tool. So remember when you're using a spot healing brush tool, Photoshop is automatically copying and replacing the blemish automatically through maybe its artificial intelligence and replacing that blemish with the area it, see, it thinks is right for you. So uh, under the healing brush tool, I will have to, if at all you have a new field layer and it has information of the image, how this works, you have to hold down the alternate key. So if at all you want to remove this blemish, so you have to come and sample an area that is close to that blemish in that particular area. So if at all you have to sample by holding down the alternate key. So hold down the alternate button on the keyboard. And now when you hold it down, simply left click to copy uh, a clean area of that particular skin. That is just close to the blemish. So alternate, simply left click on a clean area close to that blemish and release both the alternate key and the left click button and now come and paste that skin over that blemish and you can see we have really done a pretty nice job on that area and have really uh, retained we have really retained enough of the information in that particular area so let's do that right here again so what we have to do hold down the alternate key so when you hold down the alternate key and left click on a clean area close to the blemish release both at the left click and the alternate and now simply come and left click over the blemish to get rid of it and you can see it is really doing a pretty nice job so if at all uh, for the cases whereby you have a new a new field layer comments for example i've just created a new empty layer rather for the blemish removal always come and uh, make the sampling to current and below so you can either use current and below or all layers if at all you have a new blank layer so when you come and select current and below and you come and do the same procedure so if at all i hold down the alternate key close to this blemish right here alternate left click and now release both the alternate and simply I left click over the blemish. You can see it is really doing a nice job. Unlike uh, the spot healing brush tool, whereby we are getting colors that are having luminosity issues, uh, this is really the best method to remove blemishes. So, if at all you wanted to remove this blemish right here, you're just going to come and hold down the alternate, but the sampling is current and blow. You can use all layers. So, I'm just going to use current and blow. So I'm just going to hold down alternate, left click over a clean area next to the blemish and simply come and paste that clean skin. And just like that, the blemish is going to be gone. You can see a before and after. And we still have the texture intact. But sometimes when, you use, when you're using the spot healing brush tool, it is going to be leaving those shapes that I showed you in the very first uh, case of this tutorial. So the other tool that works like the healing brush tool is called the clone stamp tool. So how this works, basically come and select the clone stamp tool and make sure the opacity and the flow at one at, at 100 rather. Then sampling is aligned and make sure sampling is either current and below or 
all layers. If at all you do, you have a new blank layer for the blemish removal, and how it basically works, you have to increase on the size by using the brackets on the keyboard, the box brackets rather. Then hold down the alternate key and left click over at the clean area of the skin while still holding down the alternate key and now release both the alternate and <coughs> and the left click and simply copy and now left click to paste over the blemish to clean it up so if at all it doesn't do a nice job continue doing the same copy from this area and paste it over where the blemish was so you can see the before and after you can notice that we have even had any blemishes in those particular areas so that is for a new field layer and if at all you had this the one i just showed you is for a new blank layer rather and if at all you have a new field layer what you have to do i'm just going to activate it how it works make sure make sure this really doesn't matter so whether you select all layers current and below so whichever you select is going to be working best for you and what i have to do i'm just going to simply hold down the alternate key close to the blemish so alternate you click on a clean area close to the blemish so i'm left clicking while holding down the alternate key on the keyboard to copy skin from a clean area and you can see i have that skin copied and i'm just going to simply left click over the blemish uh, to get rid of it and you can see it is really doing a pretty nice job uh, to remove the blemish so the other tool i want to show you guys uh, for the blemish removal is called uh, the patch tool so you have to keep on keep on rather incorporating all these tools in order to remove the blemishes the best way and the cleanest way so that you don't have those patches that come as a result of using the wrong tool or using only one tool to remove majority of the blemishes from your images so the other tool i want to show you guys and this is more of the last tool is as a patch tool so the patch tool like the name suggests is more of just patching up the skin and maybe making a patch around the skin and replacing so it's like we are stamping skin on that blemish so how it works if at all you have a this layer like we have right now and we want to work with this so for the patch tool i would always recommend that you always have information in your layers so if at all you had this new empty layer i don't think uh, the patch tool is going to be working for you so always have information in the, all the layers when you're going to use this patch tool for example if at all you want to uh, patch up or remove the, blem the blemish from this particular area you're going to simply left click and move the mouse over that blemish just like that and if at all you want to replace this selected area you can see these two arrows right here so you can simply left click over this selection and hold down the left click button and move it to an area you think is cleaner and will replace that area better so you can see the before and after and you can't notice that we had any blemishes in those particular areas so we can still come and now do the same right on this blemish so just come and draw over that blemish just like that and i feel like i want to replace that blemish with this area of the skin so i'm just going to left click over it and move it down just like that to replace that area so you can see before and after and we have no colorization issues and we don't have any spots that result that basically result from uh, the use of the wrong blemish removal tools so if at all i want to clean up this blemish too i'm just going to simply draw over that blemish and simply left click and move it to a cleaner area of the skin just like that uh, to remove that blemish so i'm just going to do the same for all the blemishes so just like this one right here just going to move it right here and you can see we still have the information left intact after removing the blemishes so 
this is how the patch tool works so let's try and see if at all it is going to work for a new empty layer for our blemishes so i'm just going to activate this and see if at all it is going to be working so if at all i draw over this and you can see when i try to move it says could not use the patch tool because the selected area is empty so because we have no information in this layer right here so the patch tool is not going to be uh, working for us so basically that is how these tools work so there are those areas where you may come across a part of the skin whereby it is really complicated to clean up for example this area and you can't use the patch tool to clean up this area you can simply come back to your clone stamp tool and you sample current and blow and just come and just copy this skin right here hold down the alternate button left click to copy that area of the skin which is cleaner and come in just click over the blemish and if at all you feel it has not done a nice job come back and sample and now come back and paint over the blemish so you can see the before and after before after we still have uh, the skin texture intact and we don't have any traces for the blemishes we have been able to remove so basically you have to keep on using these tools hand in hand so that they provide the best out of your blemish removal in photoshop remember during skin retouching you retain or you get most of the credit on how you cleaned up the skin remember blemish removal contributes over 70 percent to your overall skin retouching so this is all uh, for the guide to removing blemishes from skin using the various photos that is the spot healing brush tool the healing brush tool the patch tool and the clone stamp tool and if at all you have learned something from this tutorial don't forget to like this video and don't forget to subscribe this channel if at all you have been watching from this channel for the very first time ronix from ronix photography thank you for watching and i'll see you in yet more tutorials on this channel don't forget to keep practicing and keep creating